Renewable energy have a U-turn recovery and poor run last year. After the war between Russia and Ukraine, we have a huge deficit in the energy sector. And that's why we have a huge demand and the price went parabolically up for many stocks. And one of them, the company that we're going to talk about today, Traction Uranium. Because in the last two weeks, in the last year, we have a huge pump in the technical. We're going to discuss where the price will squeeze at, the price projection for weeks and months and even after few years. And we're going to talk fundamentally why this stock have potential to double and even triple. So let's dive right in and discuss this company. Traction Uranium is a Canadian exploration company listed on the Canadian Security Exchange. Let's us watch a video on Wall Street Journal talking about uh, the importance of adoption of nuclear energy in coming years and why many countries and many companies will use uranium as energy in coming years. So let us watch together this video. For the wheels of a Tesla to spin or sound to come out of your iPhone, they all require a tiny piece of metal called neodymium. It helps turn electricity into motion, and it's one of 17 important minerals called rare earths, which are in many of the electronics we use every day. But now, your tech could be under threat. The fundamental challenge is the complete and total dominance of China. In the past few years, 80% of U.S. rare earth imports have come from China. And that's an issue because of concerns that Beijing could cut off access to the U.S. There's going to be a need for many more rare earths and on a much more secure basis than the presently politically charged Chinese monopoly. So the U.S. and its allies are building their own supply chain. We're going to be producing at least 50% more than we do today. Government support is starting to come in. Last year, the Trump administration's pandemic aid package included $800 million to fund rare earth research. The Biden administration also said it's reviewing the supply chain to protect U.S. interests. Allies are also on the move. Last year, the European Union kickstarted a $12 billion investment program for rare earth and green energy projects. Exactly. As they said, the government, it changed their policy right now. Because late last year, the US government reserved 150 million in funding to support the nuclear fuel adoption, regardless of potential tension in the Congress. On a global scale, nuclear fuel is gaining adoption and immersion as the go-to clean and secure power source. You see here from the chart, Japan, Sweden, and France, you see it's clearly 63 support for the construction of nuclear plants and who's actually building nuclear reactor we got uh, china is on the top the two u.s reactor under construction in georgia are expected to come online before 2023 and the world demand for uranium is predicted to continue to be shortfall in coming years and the company we are profiling today it has institutional shareholders among which is uh, sports capital and research capital comprised of 30 percent of ownership stake but the most powerful part is the founders and the strategic partners own the additional 55 percent and which make it one of the, the tightest and the most closely held company we ever come across. And the other latest news for Traction Uranium announced insurance of the restricted shares units and options. The exercise price was around 29 cents. And this is one of the main reasons we have this huge uh, green candle in the beginning of this year because the exercise option was around the 29 cents and the price closed uh, last Friday around the 32 cents. We're going to discuss, of course, the technical in a bit after we focus on the two main projects for extraction uranium in Canada. So extraction uranium have two projects and Athabasca Basin region, which is the region is the home to 10 of the 15 highest grade uranium deposit in the world. The first project is Harpay. There's a historic essay has shown that uranium concentration up to 3.5 WT percent drilling program to occur in 2022. In addition to drilling program, a ground electromagnetic survey will also take place to provide additional information to determine the surface of the boulder train. 
which is uh, make it cheaper to mine. For lazy Edward Pay project is located in southeastern margin of Athabasca Basin. There is high potential for near surface high grade uranium discovery at this area. So this is good uh, that the, this company have those two projects in the most uh, highest grade uranium deposit in the world. And this area has been discovered in 1940. The area has been in active production for over 60 years and we have 50% of the world uranium comes from this area. And the CEO that is Lester Esteban. Mr. Esteban is experienced mining director and CEO with 15 years experience in mining and chemical industry market. Mr. Esteban previously held roles with Unifar Solution Incorporation a leading chemical distributor, one of the world leading safety manufacturer companies. If we go right now to the technical and discuss traction uranium, ticker symbol TRCTF on the Canadian market, we see that, as we said before, we have a huge uh, pump for this stock in the last two weeks, in the last uh, year, because uh, faster adoption for the US government for uranium and nuclear energy. Add to that, as we said, we have an exercise price of 29 cent options of the company to certain directors, officer, and consultant of the company. That's why we have a huge pump with the fundamental. What we should expect price target wise. In coming weeks, we're gonna have have a test for this important level which is 39 cent 42 which is the breakout zone for this stock to go toward the 55 cent and the 99 cent however if you are trading this stock on the Canadian security exchange and the ticker symbol over there is TRAC the breakout zone is around the 50 cent so we have to watch out for the 50 cent instead of the 39 cent for this stock. The breakout zone for uh, traction uranium corporation on the OTC market is the 39.42. Here, this is, will be an important level to watch out for in the smaller picture to go and take first profit around the 55 and the 99 cent. However, in the big picture, after one year or two years, to clear the one dollar we might see a double for the price once again toward the two dollar and the three dollar and even maybe the ten dollar so we have to watch out for the one dollar breakout zone because this is will mark a huge volatility once again for traction uranium we're gonna do update of course if the price went there last year if we go in one year performance and see the the pie for the market and you see clearly that the energy sector ended the last year really great. We have XOM uh, ended the last year with the 59% up. We have CVX 39% up. You see, Tesla went 66%, Amazon 40%, Google 34 Apple, Microsoft 24 However, the energy sector is pumped over 50% and 100% for some stocks. That's why we have to watch out for energy sector for this year, because we might see a continuation for this bullish momentum for energy sector, because it's really strong and still going higher. So we have to diversify our portfolio. So what we learned from our video for today, we learned that energy sector and to be specific, nuclear energy and renewable energy is and the faster adoption for many countries after the war between Russia and Ukraine we have a deficit for last year and the price went parabolically up for many stock that's why traction uranium should be on our list because traction uranium have two projects on Hart Bay and Lazy Edward Bay which is uh, an Athabasca Basin region which home to the most high grade uranium deposit in the world and those two projects have potential to produce not just even uranium but real earth nickel cobalt and many more material that will be used in the everything that we using right now like in laptop uh, cell phones even in the electric cars uh, parts so you see the the important of uranium and rare earth uh, material that attracted uranium focusing on so we have to be first in line to invest in the future that is fastly changing and lastly as we discussed before we have this just from the charts last two weeks uh, for this stock is 
pumped from the 24 uh, resistance which is now the support and when we have a huge volatility for this stock last two weeks and this is will mark uh, a change and reverse from this bearish uh, trend toward a bullish trend toward the one dollar so watch out for this level and uh, let me know if you have any question regarding the stock everything will be in the comment section regarding the website everything you need to know about the company so you can actually do you do diligence yourself hopefully that was informative and see you in the next update